Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and what you're seeing here is a map of Rochester, New York. Now, in this uh, area, we have a saying. There are two seasons here, only two. Winter and construction. That's quite true. You go for uh, six months dodging snowstorm after snowstorm, and then the instant may... Uh, April 1st comes along. April 1st, out come the red cones. Or orange, depending on how you see them. So, I'm going to show you some, some of the things that are going on with the road construction. It's driving artifacts out of his mind because artifacts is finding it more and more difficult to get to work and work up in Rochester on Lexington Ave. So here we go. It used to be I can go 390 up to Lexington Ave and head on to work. Head on to a plant, work in a plant. But, and by the way, this goes on every year. But this year, I looked in... Rochester Democrat and Chronicle, as I noticed there's some stuff going on, and on the front page they were talking about the uh, road construction that's coming up. They said that the Lyle Avenue Bridge is going to be taken out. That, by the way, turned out not to be the case, not exactly. So, we're going to X this out. Show you how ridiculous it's, got, it's gotten. I actually can still get through there to an extent, so it's not as bad as what I had feared. But you can see how that would disrupt things pretty badly, having that bridge taken out. They also said that Wild Avenue was going to be taken down at the same time, so we'll X that out. This is only the beginning. Now, I'm doing this to illustrate how ludicrous it's actually gotten. So, if I was to uh, believe this, then 390 would be impassable. Like I said, uh, uh, I found out they're only going to do half bridge at a time. I don't know how they can do that, but I'm not an engineer. So I set out to devise a route to get to work to avoid that stretch of 390. Following me so far? I gotta take this down. I have to take off the X's in order to drag this. So what I did was I spent probably 10 to 15 hours scouring the maps. And I decided I would come in on Scottsville Road into the city, which is this road right here, intersects 390, and then take Kingsborough Road. Kingsborough Road is a very short little road, and it's got speed bumps, four of them. Then you go on uh, Genesee Park Boulevard, up Thurston Road, up to West Ave, then Buffalo Road, then Mount Reed Boulevard, right? So I spent hours and hours and hours working out this route, trying to figure out what was the best way to bypass that section of the highway. Now well, there's construction in other parts of the highway too, so uh, heading into work, lots of times I've been simply avoiding the highway altogether. So wouldn't you know it, and I'll show you this. I'm going to put the axis here again. They decided to do some construction right here. And I knew that was trouble. And I remember they already got the highway all screwed up, so I never know if the traffic's going to be all backed up or not. 
can get through as of today. So I figured, what the heck. This is actually a redo of the video because I learned new information. So I said, what the heck. I go up this road, Thurston... I go up this road, and instead of going left on West Ave, which yesterday was fine, I would go right and catch Ames Street up here and bypass around go on Maple Street over here to Mount Reed Boulevard and I'm up to where I work. Well, wouldn't you know it, Uh, oops. So, wouldn't you know it, this is x out. This is x out. That's right. They've got West Staff all screwed up. So, with all these screwed up, and by the way, uh, Whale Avenue is all screwed up as well. That basically takes out this whole area in here as far as being able to use it for a bypass route. Want more? There's more. My point here is that it's time, I think, for the people to start leaning on our elected representatives to slow this down. Because they're not leaving anything open where you can go around all these problem areas. They need to have fewer problem areas and more open roads. So that entire area is basically as x out. And I'm going to have to come in a different way in order to avoid West Ave. I'm thinking it's going to be along Charlie Ave. Somehow, I don't have everything worked out yet, but I will. I'll get there. Did it before, but they have total disrespect for people. Now we'll take a look at something else. And here's my bypass route that I uh, used to take, East River Road. And what I would do was once I got to Route 252 here, is I would go over just a little ways over to Scottsville Road. But you guessed it. Almost impassable, so we'll X that out. Scottsville Road. It's questionable heading south, so we'll X that out. It just goes on and on. Well, it just goes on and on. It's utterly insane around here. I, I, this is just an illustration of what goes on. They have construction popping up everywhere. Like I said, you never get a break from it. You never have any decent roads because in the wintertime, you're dodging six months worth of snowstorms. Then the instant April 1st comes along, out come the red cones, and they start sealing things off. So, you know, where do you go from here? It, it's getting harder and harder just to get to work. I think eventually people are going to revolt against us and put their foot, feet down. Uh, so East River Road is basically impassable now, thanks to their uh, stupid construction. And I'm scrambling to find other routes. There are other routes, but it's not that easy. I can still get through, but it's just... It's caused more and more delays. It's taking me longer and longer to get to work every day because I'm having to invent all these new routes to go around all the construction. 
that's my rant, uh, folks, for today. So, Rochester Region gets a piggy award for excess construction. I've never seen it this bad, I don't believe. Piggy award goes out to Rogers, Rochester Region for having all these construction areas all at once where you can't even devise a new route to get through because all the routes, you bypass one route and then you have to bypass one that you just bypass, use to bypass the other one. Piggy award goes out city of Rochester and the Rochester Region for all this utter nonsense that goes on every year, and it's worse this year. Piggy Award. Thanks for watching.